Okay, so we talked all about hockey, go spirit, so excited about that, but we're also going to talk about insects and bugs. Did you know, listen to this, Michigan does not have a state insect. That's why Corey Harwood, a science teacher at Owendale uh, Gagetown, is also here with me. Okay, so you set out on a mission, Corey, mm -hmm. to have your students find this insect. Tell me, why was this something you wanted to do, to get an insect from Michigan? Well, it was essentially like, why hasn't this been done? <laughs> right. Like I, it was a category in jeopardy uh, okay. during during August, mm -hmm. and it was about the state insect, and you had to guess the state or the insect, and um, and I was like, I really, as a science teacher, I feel yeah. like I should know our right. state insect, and I looked it up and like, oh, we are one of two states that one doesn't have two. one. So you did a little <laughs> digging, and we don't have an insect. I don't no. like that. Yeah. We're behind the eight ball there. Okay, yeah. so what did you do? How did you get your class involved in this? So all kinds of stuff. So first we did a little bug collection, so they had to go out and catch bugs, oh, and then right. I introduced them to the idea that uh, we don't have a state insect, and I wanted right. them to think about like what... Uh, what insect it should be. Yeah. So I gave, I told them that it couldn't be a, an insect that's already on the list of the other state insects. Like okay. there's a lot of like honeybees. Oh, there's criteria. And, yeah. Okay, yeah. And the monarch butterfly, like 20 states have the monarch butterfly. I was gonna butterfly say, mon I love so the monarch what, butterfly. I, I didn't want it to be something that <laughs> was boring. Okay, so. so the kids got excited. They started thinking about bugs and learning about insects, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah. That just hands on learning. Oh my goodness. So tell me, what did your students Think about this idea. Were they excited? Were they, you know? Oh, they loved it. Yeah. Like, it, otherwise, it would have been just us learning about insects, like with a PowerPoint slide oh, or boring. something like that. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, yeah, they were all on board. They right. absolutely loved the idea. Okay, so what is the insect that you finally came up with? Uh, we came up with the Isabella tiger moth, uh, okay. which is also better known as the woolly bear, the caterpillar that can predict the, oh. the winter weather based on its bands. So. Oh, that's perfect yeah. for Michigan. Look at the little caterpillar there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so, it, but it, it's not, it's more of like a, yeah. more of like a, a myth kind okay. of thing. Yeah, okay. so it, it's okay. not, but. So what's next in this whole process? Well, we've already sent in letters uh, to a lot of representatives Good. Good. Uh, and we had a couple already sent back about uh, them being interested in okay. bringing it up and yeah. actually making it a thing. Well, how can our friends get involved? Because we always love to help all of our kids out there to make their, you know, they work so hard on this. I want them to to, to get this insect, you know, recognized. Yeah, uh, email or call okay. a state representative okay. and they will, they will get, I think, bugged enough to... <laughs> to figure it out. So I love it. Yes, yeah. we need to keep bugging yeah. our representatives. That's <laughs> perfect. Well, thank you so much for doing this. And we're going to have information about this and how you can help out and everything on our website at WNEM.com. Good luck. Will you let us know what happens? Yes, absolutely. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, it'll be an exclusive interview. <laughs> the state bug now is. <laughs> thank you so much yes, for coming. Thank you. you are so welcome. If you have any ideas of what you would like to see in our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4 p.m. news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. news spotlight.